Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we are talking about Revo Uninstaller. And for those of you that don't know what Revo is, Revo Uninstaller is basically a tool that helps you uninstall software from your computer. Um, even if you like it, sometimes you'll have problems uninstalling things um, or you can't uninstall them from the Windows Uninstaller, you know, in the Add or Remove programs. And so Revo Uninstaller is a cool little tool that will go in and help you uninstall stuff like that. So the question comes up, why Revo Uninstaller versus the regular Windows Uninstaller? Well, unlike the Windows Uninstaller, Revo will actually go into your registry and your file structure to look for any references to the application you're uninstalling. Uh, so using Revo to delete these references will basically like help keep your registry and file structure more organized and a lot cleaner. And that can help your uh, PC run a little bit smoother. So let's take a look at this. I've already downloaded this, as you can see from my download icon here, and I've started to run it. I have not set it up yet. Um, so where can you get it? Um, you can get it at the link down in the description below, which is right here. Um, I will go ahead and put that down there. Um, and there are a couple differences here. There's a couple different versions. As you can see, you get the you've got the Revo Uninstaller Freeware, which is completely free. And you've got the Revo Uninstaller Pro, which there is a cost to the Pro version. The differences are kind of negligible. Most people will not need to buy the Pro version. Um, but if you want to, it's actually, I believe it's, they're having a deal on it right now. Let me go back here. Yeah, they're having a 50% 50 holiday discount. Um, and so it's gone from 25 to 1247. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Revo is not sponsoring me to do this. I just happen to like the product, so I'm telling you about it. Um, but as you can see, here's all the differences. Most people will get away just fine with the free version. That's all I have ever used. I've never had it not do anything because I'm only using it to uninstall applications. Um, so when you get a chance, just go to this site, check out all these differences, and you decide what is better for you. So today we are actually just going to uh, use the free version. And at this site, just click free, download, your download should automatically start. But like I said, we've already done all that. So we're just gonna go over here and we're going to install it. And so I'll just walk you through the install. So once you get it downloaded from the site in the description below, you'll start by setting it up here. We have to accept the agreement. I'm sure you all read every single bit of what's in there. Click next on that. And I just click by default. Sure, we can put a shortcut on the desktop and install that. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave that check to go ahead and launch Revo. So once you launch Revo, it will list all of the applications that you have in your computer. And so what you can do is scroll down. I've decided that today we're just going to uninstall Firefox on this. So you can just single click on this and then right click on it and go to uninstall. Now it will ask you if you're sure this is the one you want to uninstall, which I'm sure it is, but it will also ask you here if you want to make a restore point before uninstalling. This is completely up to you. I never do this, uh, but if you do want to make a restore point, go ahead and leave that checked. I'm not going to do that. Going to uncheck it, just continue. And so what this will do, it will actually use the regular Windows uninstaller to begin with. And so we just go ahead and hit next on this. And we're going to tell it to uninstall. And again, this is using the regular Windows uninstaller. We're not going to tell them why. But the magic happens after Windows uninstaller uninstalls this. Now, there are three different modes here. So if we click or hover over safe, it will tell us what the differences are. 
So safe mode here includes the built-in mode, performs additional scans and registry, and the hard drive leftover items that are safe to delete. Fastest mode. Now moderate includes safe mode, performs an extended scan to find all, etc., etc. I always recommend the advanced mode because this goes in and gets all of the, uh, the stuff left over from the application that you are trying to uninstall. Um, and it will kind of explain there exactly what it does. Basically, this one is a very deep scan. Um, so I recommend this one. Even though this one says it's the fastest, if you have a computer that's from this century, it's still pretty quick. So once you click advanced and hit scan, what this is doing, step one, is it will go through your registry and it is looking for any references to, to uh, Mozilla Firefox. And as you can see, it has found a lot of registry entries to Firefox. Now, if you were just to use the regular Windows uninstaller, all this stuff would be left over and it would clutter up your registry. Not that it's a big deal. You probably wouldn't notice a difference in performance, um, but just knowing all this stuff is in your registry when it don't need to be, I don't know about you, but it kind of bugs me. A little bit of OCD there. Um, so what you do here, I've seen a lot of people make this mistake. It is found leftover registry items. I have seen people just assume it's going to get rid of them and click next. Do not do that. You want to go ahead and select all. And as you can see, it selects everything and then you hit delete. It confirms that you're sure you hit yes. So that will go in and delete all of those registry references. And after it does that, it will scan your file structure. And as you can see, there are a whole lot of references in your file structure to this, to Firefox. So to eliminate clutter, you also want to get rid of those. So same procedure applies, select all, hit delete. And yes, we are sure. So it goes in and deletes all those references in your file structure. Once it does that, it's completely done. So all you do is close this out and voila, Firefox is uninstalled. What I do recommend also after you use a Revo to uninstall something, go ahead and restart the computer just to finish up that cleanup process. And that is all there is to it, guys. A simple solution to uninstalls and keeping your PC clean on uninstalling applications you no longer need. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give me a like and consider subscribing for more. Thanks and have a great day.